What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and this is something that didn't expect to be making a video on, but you know, the replays are there, gotta talk about it, it's the lightning spell, making a comeback perhaps at Town Hall 10, quite a few replays uh, from this war, we'll show a few of them, uh, but uh, it's paired up with dragons typically, and I'm not a huge fan of the lightning spell, like generally speaking. I just don't think it's worth the investment. You only get, you know, a very uh, targeted small radius with it. Um, take out, you know, a few select buildings for the price of quite a few spell space. Typically, bats are going to be more effective. I mean, here I go, you know, already kind of putting down this uh, strategy, but it has been working, so got to show it. Try to talk through what's going on here. Um, this one was an interesting attack, just coming in with a. Uh, Lightning and then Earthquake. I think Earthquake and three Lightnings takes out both air defenses and gets that Expo pretty low. Queen a little bit low as well, um, but not like a ton of value really in my opinion. Um, but you can't argue with the results here. Dragons come in. It's very weird how this whole attack worked out. Not sure if this was the, entirely the plan, but then the Slammer on the opposite side. Um, air Sweepers are fortunately not pointed at the uh, the main direction of entry here. Those dragons kind of slip between the two sweepers and take them both out. Um, we have the air defenses on the back end starting to do some work, but has a hound tanking one. Uh, the slammer's kind of cleaning up the other side, has a lot of hit points still. And I think a lot of why this works is because um, it allows the slammer to get a ton of value if there's no air defense, because that's pretty much the only thing that'll take out the slammer in any uh, meaningful way is if a, uh, an air defense locks onto it. Seeking air mines, of course, you know, a lot of expos plus the queen. But the uh, the main thing is the slammer, especially at Town Hall 10, which is where we're focusing today, um, where everything is lower level. It typically is gonna be the air defense. It's gonna be the, the most consistent way to take out the, the uh, stone slammer. So that is part of the reason why I think this works well. We will take a look at another two replays and kinda see what went on there, but um, yeah, lightning spell, not something I thought I'd see making a comeback. It's still kind of a fringe attack here, but um, maybe gaining a little bit of popularity. Let's take a look at this next one here. Four lightning spells dialed up, no earthquakes this time, uh, but coming in here with the heroes, simply gonna have to be creative with, you know, the heroes, how you use them, how you get value, get another additional air defense in, uh, in addition to the other uh, that you're going to be using the lightning spell on. Uh, this part of the base over on the left side there is very deserted in terms of DPS. There's the king, I guess there's like an expo in there, but besides that there's not a whole lot of DPS in the area. So heroes get a ton of value in those situations, especially when the value is taking out buildings in general. You know, if it's a hog attack, it doesn't matter how much trash you take out with your heroes, it's all about gaining those defensive value. But if it's uh, a dragon attack, a minor attack, Taking out a solid 30% of the base, 33% with your heroes, no matter where you're taking it out, it's gonna help because it's stuff that the dragons, the miners are gonna have to otherwise be getting. Maybe not right away, but typically, eventually, and typically while there's still other defenses left up, they're gonna be targeting them, so keep that in mind. Uh, once again, Hound comes out. Uh, actually, not once again. I was just recording another video, so uh, a little bit of lag there in my brain, but. Uh, the Hound does come out, which is very annoying for the dragons to deal with, but they, they will help take it out along with the Queen. Slammer coming in, just kind of rushing the space from that side, and then just a freeze and a haste on the back end, but, you know, got good value with uh, the, the lightning spells taking out the two air defenses, and then for the back end, the, uh, the balloons will kind of blitz in there, uh, as well as the balloons coming out of the Slammer. Haste spell, gets it done, no Teslas to pull anything away, and uh, that, that's a wrap for this base. So it's a very air defense focused attack, which is why it's only gonna work at Town Hall 10 most likely, where the air defenses are your big players in terms of anti-air coverage. Uh, but a bunch of balloons left up, we'll fast forward to the end here, nice little free spell, put on the wizard tower, and those balloons are gonna just be nice and sitting pretty there until they uh, disappear at the end of the attack there, so. Good stuff, good stuff. One more to take a look at. Short video, um, number 40 here. Civil Serpent. Uh, once again, typical combo. 
poison, four lightning, rage, and a haste. Um, using the king over on the left side, baby dragon down on the town hall here. Um, definitely a good setup to use dragons on, uh, just because of the uh, concentration of a lot of good value right in the core of the base there. Um, pretty narrow as well, good, uh, good pathing, not too wide through the base. Goes ahead and uh, zaps down those, uh, those kind of upper air defenses. The queen will get one as well, leaving only one air defense, but there's a lava hound to tank that. And actually coming from the, the wider side, excuse me, I, I thought this was going to come from the, the skinny side, but no, coming from a little bit of a wider berth on this base, that's okay though. Um, dragons are going to be okay spreading out as long as there's not too much damage. Um, they're going to kind of come in here, help take out that air defense, um, but that's really the only big player in terms of DPS along with the queen there. Um, there are the expos, some archer tower, stuff like that, but a back end slammer with those nice balloons to soak up some uh, seeking air mines, very important because the slammer, you're really depending on the hit points of the slammer to be nice and hardy and to, uh, to get pretty far in as it does right here. Um, takes out inferno tower, balloons drop out, uh, they'll get a ton of value and yeah, dragons kind of, you know, they're slow going through the base, don't have a lot of spells for them because of the lightning investment. But the benefits of this attack is it doesn't have to, you know, be as delicate as perhaps the drag bat where you have a wizard tower, a multi inferno, you gotta freeze, you gotta time it correctly, you gotta make sure your bats don't all die, uh, you can have some epic fails there. This one is just straight up look at the base, uh, zap down the air defenses you want down, and then do you have enough firepower? Maybe an easier question to answer uh, for some people than having to worry about timing stuff. And having to worry about the more of a delicate type attack with bat spells so that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching today and maybe something you can use at town hall 10 uh, as you kind of start to uh, work on your bat type or sorry your dragon attacks good thing to pair with them lightning spell perhaps that'll do it and i'll see you guys in the next video bisectatron out